a couple of weeks ago, you guys were going through a little bit of a rough patch and Mark Stone kind of called himself out and he basically said the guys who were paid to score goals need to score goals. Instead of pointing fingers, the teams responded the way they have. Can you just talk about the way that message resonated in the room? Um, yeah, it's, it's obvious uh, that you have guys on a team with uh, certain roles. And uh, if, if Mark said that, then he's obviously was alluding to the point that uh, at the moment, our, our top guys weren't doing the job to score goals to win games. Um, you know, there's peaks and valleys throughout a season. And obviously, uh, you know, it's, it sounds like he put some you know pressure on himself and, and the guys to uh, step up and, and be difference makers in, in a time where things weren't going so smoothly. But um, yeah, I mean, that's why he's our captain. He leads by example. And uh, even if he's not putting pucks in the net, he's uh, he's leading the charge out there. So shows a lot about his character. Next tonight, we'll go to Ben Goat, Las Vegas Review Journal. Hey, Will, can you take us through your goal a little bit? Could you tell that you kind of got lost in coverage there? And how did it feel to start the game off uh, that quickly with the goal? Yeah. Um, it started off with a, with a win. Got some help from my wingers, I think. Um, you know, um, D to D, Petro trying to hit me, hit their skate, their D skate. I think he lost track of it a little bit. And I just kind of snuck in there behind him and um, managed to get a backhander off. And um, obviously, that's, uh, that's a pretty good start. Um, doesn't get better than that. So that was, uh, that was nice. Next, we'll go to Justin Emerson, the Las Vegas Sun. Hey, Max, I actually had a bit of a similar question for you. You've been a captain before. You kind of know what it takes, obviously. Mark's the first captain in team history. We see what he does on the ice, but I guess what traits do you guys see that we don't that make him a good captain? Well, I mean, he's just a genuine person. I think uh, he hasn't changed his demeanor, personality, or character at all. And, and to me, that's a sign of a true leader. He's not talking just to talk. Uh, if there's something that needs to be said, you know, he has our full attention. So, uh, you know, sometimes guys can get caught up in the role and try and do too much, but he stayed true to who, who he is and who he is is a, is a real leader. So we're lucky to have him. Next, we'll go to Ed Graney, Las Vegas Review Journal. Max, uh, a lot was made about tonight and the difference between six and two on these guys with eight left to play. I know nothing's over, but can you talk about what it means to have that kind of uh, differential in points and what it would have been the other way? Well, I mean, yeah, I'm still some season to be a lot of season to be played. I think we have eight games left. Um, you know, we, we're in a good position right now. However, we know that we have to play uh, better uh, when when they have their full lineup. And um, it's kind of a little bit of a tricky game. I mean, it was our first time with uh, three days in between games this season, and, and they're missing some guys. So it seemed like it wasn't as sharp of a game as, as when we normally play each other. Um, that being said, we're in a good spot here, and, and uh, our goal now is to really uh, try and gel and get even better here in these final eight games. Take two more here for Will and Max. Next, we go to Jesse Granger, The Athletic. Hey, for Max, obviously they're really talented offensively. I'm wondering what, what maybe were, what aspect were you the most happy with in the, in the way you guys defended them tonight? Uh, you got to be aware of who's on the ice, and obviously it's a uh, um, a little bit easier when, when they're missing some guys. However, you know, when 29's on the ice, you got to play the game a little bit different. Not to say that uh, you get completely away from your game plan, but, you know, he likes to wind up with speed, and, and it's our job to take away his time and space. And uh, they're a dangerous club because, you know, eight's normally on the ice with them, so you can't just take away one guy. And, um, you know, obviously we know that they didn't have their full lineup, uh, but I thought we did a good job of, you know, playing a smart game that you're going to want to play uh, against a team like that down the stretch, against players that are that skilled. Last question for Will and Max goes to Ken Bulky, Sinbin, Vegas. Kind of wanted to ask something similar to Will. Just what did you think went well against McKinnon today? No, kind of like he said, um, the time and space. Um, if he wants to, um, you know, grab speed uh, from his own zone, you know, have someone pick him up, stuff like that. You know, details. Um, you know, he's, he's very shifty. So um, as much as we can to take away time and space, um, that's, you know, that's, that's how you got to play it. Guys, thanks for the time tonight. Thank you. Thanks.
Uh, you just talk about the importance of getting the two points against the Avalanche and going six points up in the standings right now. That was a big win for us. Um, you know, we have been playing some good hockey, but you know, we want to play. We want to play the best. So um, you know, it was nice to, um, to play them. Uh, see where we're at. Uh, I thought we had a pretty good game, but. Uh, there's obviously things we can we can clean up, uh, but like you said, uh, getting the two points, creating a little bit of separation, uh, is huge for us. Um, and I still had some key guys in the lineup. I mean, we're missing guys too, but um, you know, we, we dug in. Uh, Flower made some big saves, and we had some timely goals. Next question tonight comes from Justin Emerson, Las Vegas Sun. Mark, have you scored from behind the goal before? And when a play like that happens, what do you see on the ice that makes you want to give it a shot? Um, I'm sure I have. Um, you know, when a goalie's scrambling like that, you're just trying to get it back in front. I think Patch was battling for position. Um, you know, if you can get it into that place, uh, uh, chaos is gonna 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 happen. And um, you know, I was just fortunate that it went off the back. Uh, we made a, a couple good plays there. Um, you know, Chandler backs it off, makes the speed. And then we get a good look, and then we just stay on it. And he feeds me, and he takes a couple whacks, and it's in the back of the net. Um, nothing, uh, nothing too glamorous about uh, about that one. Next, we'll go to Jesse Granger from The Athletic. For Mark, you mentioned they're missing some guys, and uh, Philip Grubauer is obviously a big piece that they're missing, but it seemed like goaltending was really the difference tonight. How much confidence does that give you when, when Flurry can kind of hold you guys in it when they have their runs? For sure. I mean, we have um, you know, two uh, probably top five best goalies in the league. Um, they go in every night and give us a chance to win. Um, and Fowler did that tonight. Uh, I think uh, we had a great start, obviously, 10 seconds in scoring. Um, but I think at 1-1, uh, if Flower doesn't make some key saves, uh, it doesn't allow us to uh, to stay there. Um, but he made some, some key stops in the penalty kill. Uh, uh, he's one of the main reasons why we went 4-4 uh, for four in the kill. Um, and then we, uh, we, we, we capitalize on our chances uh, going forward. Next, we'll go to Christopher Chapman from Fox Sports Las Vegas. Yeah, hi, Mark. Uh, three weeks ago tonight, you, you kind of called yourself out for not scoring. You kind of called the guys who were paid to score goals out. Since then, you've won 10 straight. Can you just talk about the response that, that the team has had since since that night, the St. Louis game? Yeah, I mean, I don't think that has anything to do with it. Um, I was making a <laughs> pretty obvious statement um, in our locker room. Um, we understand uh, uh, that we're going to be playing against top lines and uh, we have to produce, so um, you know we built our confidence up over the last uh, ten games, and, uh, and we got eight more to uh, be ready to go in the playoffs. Next, we'll go to Danny Webster, NHL.com. Hey Chandler, uh, you guys go over three in the power play in the first period, but hold them to one goal when they started to push. Uh, just how crucial was that stretch to keep it tied even after the first period? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, like Mark said, Flower made some uh, big time. On the saves for us, and um, you know, I think that uh, that's been, you know, one of our uh, big strengths this year is just kind of sticking with games, and um, you know, not getting frustrated or um, you know, letting the game get away. I uh, just stuck with it, and um, you know, Mark and Scott stepped up and uh, gave it gave us some big goals and a little bit of a some breathing room. Final question tonight from Mark Stone and Chandler Stevenson comes from Justin Emerson, Las Vegas Sun. Hey Chandler, I guess we talked about how big this game was. Uh, I'm, I guess I'm just curious how much in the room you guys had talked about going into it, about how important this game was going into it, just for the standings and all that. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it's nice to, <clears throat> you know, be for place and uh, play a team like Colorado and. Um, you know, get, uh, you know, that battle and um, just, you know, it's just a good hard fought playoff type game. And, um, you know, I think the biggest thing is, um, you know, clinching the playoffs. That's kind of what the, um, you know, the mindset now is, is getting ready for playoffs and um, just being prepared for, for when that comes. Thanks guys. Thank you. Pete, um, a lot was said before the game, obviously, the difference between six and two in terms of the uh, cushion you might have with eight left. I know nothing's over, but how does, good does it feel that it's six? Well, huge, huge uh, result uh, for the standings. Gives us a, 
a real chance. We've still got a lot of business to take care of over the last, uh, you know, two weeks here, but, uh, you know, sets us up that I think uh, our, our uh, destiny's in our own hands at least, which is what you want heading in the last two weeks of the season. We'll go to Jesse Granger with The Athletic. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Pete. I know they're obviously missing their starting goalie tonight, but it seemed like two really good teams and the difference was the goaltending. Um, how much confidence does that give you moving forward, knowing that you may have to face this team, um, that, that you have the goaltending to, to kind of slow them down when they go on their runs? Yeah, our, our, our goaltender was very good. And, and you know what? Both our guys have been very good all year, so you almost take it for granted. Um, you know, we haven't had I, – I can't remember a loss where you walked out and said, boy, we played really well, but our, our goaltender wasn't good. So that's a great luxury we have, and that's how we're built. And, you know, those guys have both held up their end and showing up and giving us uh, uh, great goaltending every night. Next question tonight comes from David Shane, Las Vegas Review Journal. Hi, Pete. Kind of along those same lines, were your best players just better than their best players tonight? And going forward, is that is that what it's going to take to beat that team? Uh, well, you know, I, I think you got two teams. Both teams, if you look at the list of guys missing from the lineup, you know, could could change their their lineups fairly dramatically especially the depth of the lineup so um you know uh, who knows you know i, I I'm, I'm not sure uh I, I know the key tonight for us was uh flower was very good uh you know i thought stone's line was excellent uh, our big guys got on the board carlson scored a big goal for us uh yeah i mean you know i i think uh as far as, as future formula for beating that team, you know, uh, that's going to be a tough ask for anybody to beat that team. And, and uh, we'll just take the win tonight and enjoy it and think about that when we have to. Next, we'll go to Justin Emerson, Las Vegas Sun. Hey, Justin. Hey, Pete, just kind of on those lines of your best players, it was 1-1 and then Pacioretty Stone and Pacioretty scored. I guess how nice is it for you as a coach to know that you have those guys that can go out and get some big goals for you? Yeah, you know, scoring in this league, there's a, there's a saying and there's an old adage, it's a race to three. You know, if you can get three goals in this league, you're going to give yourself a really good chance to win. And, um you know, I've coached teams where it's been a real grind to get three goals. And, you know, we, even last year in the bubble, we saw, uh, you know, there was a lot of nights where it was tough to get to that magic number of three. So, you know, I feel like this group scores a little bit easier than maybe even last year's group. Um, you know, I think we're scoring different ways. Uh, but for sure, the guys that get paid to score uh, have done it all year for us. Time for a couple more tonight. Next, we go to John Treat, Channel 8, Las Vegas. Hey, John. Hey, Coach. Given all the years you've been in the game, how difficult is it to win 10 straight games when you're playing the same seven teams? <clears throat> it's really difficult. I mean, that's why it's a club record. I mean, uh, you know, it, 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 it rarely happens. And... Uh, um, you know, in this league, I think I said it at, in training camp, the, the back-to-backs, um, you know, I, I thought we we're going to be really tough to beat the same team twice, never mind, you know, three times in a row or, or, uh, or, or more than that. So, um, you know, th this league's about adjustments and bouncing back, and, and everybody has a lot of pride in their game. So, you know, it's a great accomplishment for our group. Our final question tonight comes from Ken Bulky, Sinbin, Da Vegas. Hey, Ken. Hey, Pete. Puck management's always pretty big in any of these games, but against this team, it's specifically big, especially when McKinnon's on the ice. How did you think it went tonight? I thought we were pretty good. You know, I, I think um, we were good enough to win. I, I think we have another level to, to a, a lot of parts of our game tonight that we're going to need come playoff time if that team's healthy and, and we get an opportunity to play them again. Uh, but we were good enough in, in those areas to win tonight. Thanks, Pete. Thank you. And thanks to all the members of the media on the call as well. We'll send out full recording shortly.
Thank you.